All right, guys, look at what just came through the mail. I mean, you can't really tell what it is, but that's my new editing computer and that's a PC. That video is gonna be a little different than my usual videos. Uh, usually my videos are really structured and thought out and this is gonna be more of me just talking and rambling about stuff because I got my computer today and I, I was in the mood of doing that. So this video is gonna be a lot of me talking and a little bit of showing, but uh, like not showing, like showing stuff. I got, check this out. This is my new editing machine. Uh, it's not built yet, obviously, but I laid out all the components so you can see what I got inside of it. So let's start with storage. So I have a one terabyte Samsung SSD. These are extremely fast um, and I don't need more than one terabyte because I'm essentially editing everything off Samsung T5. So if you want to know more about my editing workflow, I'll have a video linked up there. Um, next, let's talk about RAM. So this is 128 gig of RAM, uh, HyperX. And they will be going on the X570E motherboard. Uh, and they're actually maxing out the capabilities of the motherboard, but I'm cool with that because 128 is a lot of RAM. So I'll be, I'm, I'm good. Now let's talk about the um, GPU. So I got the GeForce RTX 3070. Um, this was a bitch to get, to be honest. For some reasons, they seemed to be out of stock like worldwide. And Luckily for me, um, the store I bought it from had five in stock uh, all of a sudden. So when I saw that they had five in stock, I bought that immediately. Uh, but then they were out of stock in like five minutes. I don't understand this craze about, you know, GPU and CPUs, but all that matters is that I have the GPU I wanted. Now let's talk about fans. So I got the Noctua N-Edge U12S. Uh, all black because this whole setup is going to be all black everything I mean as black as possible and this is the case I got so this is the Corsair 4000D uh, all black obviously it has some nice it has some nice yellow touches uh, here and there pretty standard but I like the really sleek finish of it and it has some quick access ports on the top so one USB 3 USB C mic and power buttons last but not least i got the, the amd ryzen 9 5950x and that was the cpu i really wanted to get but them also were out of stock and they got in stock at the same time uh the geforce got in stock so i got both of them uh, this is a 16 core beast uh i can't wait to edit with that Ugh. all right so big move um big move so why switching from Mac to PC? I've been working on Macs for probably like 10 years, even more than that, probably like 12 to 15 years. Uh, I love their OS. I think their OS is like the best OS out there. Um, I love the design of the computers. I love how easy they are to use and how well they were performing. When it comes to computers, I feel like Apple is now catering to the consumer market with their MacBook Air and iPads. And they're also catering to the really high-end production companies. Uh, with their Mac Pros. And I kind of feel like they've forgotten about the in-between market, you know, like the small digital companies, uh, small production companies that don't have like, let's say $35,000 to spend in a Mac Pro and an absurd amount of money to spend on Mac Pro wheels. When you start working with six gear raw and, you know, working on multiple projects at the same time, you're faced with two main issues. The first is storage space. And this is kind of easily taken care of because you basically just need to get more storage. The second issue you encounter is that you waste a lot of time and you lose a lot of time when your computer is not powerful enough. As corny as it sounds, time is money. And it is essentially our loss if it takes us double the amount of time to edit a project. Obviously, if the client has more requests, this is like uh, an extra fee that it's gonna come in, but if it's a simple video and uh, we think it's gonna take like a, like eight hours to edit, if it takes us eight, 16, it's not the client's responsibility to pay because our equipment is not up to date. I like not having to change computers like every year or every two years. Um, so I like the upgradability of a computer. And this is something that is almost non-existent in the Apple lineup. Uh, you can upgrade obviously the Mac Pro, but I don't have Mac Pro money at the moment. Um, that is something with the iMac 2020 when you work you can upgrade the RAM but you can't do anything with the GPU, CPU, you're basically stuck forever with the CPU you decide to pick in the first place. 
So when I had to decide if I really wanted to jump onto the PC train, um, I took an external SSD and I went to my nephew's house and he has a gaming computer, um, like mid-level gaming computer. It's not something like extraordinary. Uh, it's not something really bad, but then uh, installed Premiere on that and I tried to edit like a little bit and the export time was actually like five times faster than my MacBook Pro. And I was like, what the fuck? I paid like over 3K from my MacBook Pro like a couple of years ago and this like $1,200 computer is actually bidding it like it's not even a competition at that point. Yeah, I'm lucky enough I'm not a Final Cut editor, so I'm not married to Mac OS for editing. Um, Premiere and After Effects are basically the same softwares. Um, I'll just have to get used to like some short shortcuts and using Control instead of Command, but I mean, I have my habits, but this is, I think it's doable. I'm still gonna use my MacBook Pro for all the admin work and, uh, and all the editing on the go. That's why I'm using Samsung T5s because I can basically go from my MacBook to my editing PC uh, without too much of um, troubles. So yeah, um, time will tell. <laughs> I'm so eager to work on that new uh, computer. Uh, it's gonna help me go through edits faster. It's gonna help me uh, with uh, rendering time. Uh, I'm not gonna have as many drop frames, hopefully, uh, as I do now. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated how it goes. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna go just fine. It's just uh, Windows, man, but, oh, sorry. Yeah, Windows, uh, I don't like that OS, but uh, I kind of have to get used to it now. So that's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool, I'm really excited. And I've been talking for way too long now, so I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.